Welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews and to my What I'm Reading Right Now video for the fourth full week in January in 2022. Full disclosure, I'm not very well at the moment. I'm not doing great. I'm getting better though. So I'm just taking a few days off work and trying to rest a bit. Uh, that's not stopping my brain from telling me I need to do lots and lots of reading though. So I have got quite a bit to tell you about. As ever, can't quite remember where I got to last week. I think I just finished The Cerulean Queen, which at this point in time feels like months and months ago rather than seven days. So, oh, I don't have a copy of it up with me. I finished my audiobook of Nine Fox Gambit. I've been working on that for probably about a week and a half, maybe a bit more than that. Loved it. Really enjoyed it by audiobook. Now listening to the second one, uh, which I will come on to in the now reading section. I also finished... There's so many books in this deck next to me. Uh, I also finished The Burning God. This was a little bit of a slog. Um, I did finish it by the end of Sunday, which I'd wanted to do, but I really had to push myself to read it. And I did actually very much enjoy reading this whole trilogy from start to finish. And I think it really helped me to cement my thoughts on the series um, because I'd read this when it was coming out. I think I read an early copy of it or like a digital arc of it. Uh, and then immediately put it out of my brain because that's how my brain worked at the time. And reading the, all three of them back to back, even though I think I did a reread last time, by the by, something about reading all three of them really cemented for me what was bothering me about book three, and I think sort of towards the end of book two as well. Uh, and I'm excited to talk about that, but you're going to have to wait for my review. Or, no, I don't think I've put it anywhere else. You will have to wait for my review. It won't be very long. I can tell you when that review is going up. It'll be in March. That's not that long. It's fine. Or you can join my Patreon and I will maybe put my thoughts in my wrap-up post there. After taking a little bit of a break finishing The Burning God, because it was fairly slow going, uh, I read The Library of the Unwritten by AJ Hackwith. This is a reread. I'm rereading book one and two in preparation to read The God of Lost Worlds, which is the third one, or words? Worlds. Words. I think it's The God of Lost Words. This was fantastic. I actually upped my rating of this. I upped this to five stars because I think this book is so good. It's so much fun. It's such a good adventure. Anything set in libraries with an adventure I'm pretty much guaranteed to love, but this just so hit the spot for me. I started reading it and it was on the first day that I was off and I was like, Judith, just read 50 pages. Then you will have progressed in this day and then you can just take the rest of the day and watch Chicago Med, which I'm very much enjoying. It's utter trash, but I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, and then I just kept going uh, and then it had been 430 pages and I was done and I had a great time so I'm very much excited to pick up the sequel. More on that and on. And then today I finished The Weight of Feathers by A.M. McLemore. As you will know I'm running a read-along for this at the moment. This was absolutely wonderful. It's so, sort of a Romeo and Juliet kind of story where we have these two young people about 16, 17 from warring families of Cluck and Lace except in this context the families are both rival shows kind of acts that happen outside it's really hard to explain and the book doesn't really explain it because it's quite a kind of calm gentle let me just tell you this story it feels very campfire-esque in the way that it includes some things and doesn't include others and the details that it chooses to focus on in certain parts of the story I loved this I had a great time with it if this is the trajectory of my enjoyment of A.M. McLemore's work I'm very excited to keep reading over the coming weeks um yeah just absolutely beautiful love story great stuff. Content warning for that one for sort of generational trauma stuff, but uh, it is very good. Right, that's everything I read. What am I currently reading? I mentioned I'm currently reading Raven Stratagem. That's very slow going. It's my audiobook. I'm enjoying it. I'll probably, you know, listen to it in a few big chunks and get through the rest of it. But uh, so far, my thoughts are, uh, this isn't necessarily where I expected this to go after the end of book one, but I'm really loving it. And we'll see how we go from there. Uh, I'm also reading Lost Worlds and Mythological Kingdoms, which is a collection that I was meant to be picking up for a couple of weeks, but I wanted to. It was sort of mood reading. I've just read the first story, which was not my favourite, but I, I'm intrigued as to where the rest of the work is going. Uh, and I think I'm going to try and read it in little dribs and drabs over the next few weeks. But knowing me, it'll get to the week I'm meant to be reading it and I will just read it all in one go. But I can try. And lastly, I am currently reading... Ba -da -ba -da -ba, Extasia. This is also some book mail that came. I think this came like maybe an hour after I finished filming last week's video. It's fine. Um, this is a book that had been vaguely on my radar. I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it or not because it was YA, but it was sent to me by the lovely people at Harper360 and I am 110 pages in. And so far there's a lot of uh, religious weirdness stuff happening. Like that's intentional. It's not not anything subtly weird. It's very, very unsubtle, in fact. Uh, but I think we're just getting to the witchy stage of this book. That's not a spoiler. It's on the cover. Girl, Saint, Witch. Um, 
I don't know how I'm going to come down about this. And I think that it might be one of those things where if I hadn't read Sorrowland, which is such a good book of... An, there are a lot of parallels that could be drawn. Sorrowland is vastly different in a lot of ways. But where these books are similar, Sorrowland is winning. So I don't know. I'm going to let it happen. We'll see. We've got... 200 or so pages, uh, 300 or so pages left to go. I don't know. It, it could be great. So those are what I'm currently reading. This week I need to finish before Sunday. Uh, I would like to finish Scorpica, which is the, the Five Queendoms series. In an ancient matriarchal world, the last girl has just been born. We'll see. Um, matriarchal worlds, sometimes a bit of a hit, sometimes a miss. And then I have Fallible Justice by Laura Lasko. This is a paranormal detective-y kind of story. I think I might prioritise... Mm, do I want to prioritise this over Scorpica? Or do I want to push this? I'm just trying to work out if I don't finish all of the stuff I want to finish this week. Which what? Where is the thing going to fall? I don't quite know. I'll discover and let you know next week. Those are all the things that are happening this week. Next week I'm going to try and pick up... Ba -ba -ba, Echo Murder, which is the sequel to Fallible Justice, so I probably ought to try to get to it. I've got an Animorphs book to read. Archive of the Forgotten, I already mentioned. I'm really excited to pick up the sequel. If I remember correctly, this one was much, much more gay. So I'm excited for that one. And as part of the read-along, obviously we have When the Moon Was Ours. This one is another romance. Uh, this one... Oh, this is Four Sisters Rumoured to be Witches. It's a very incidentally witchy month. Uh, frustratingly, doing that before the end of January, when Asha is running her February witchy readathon next month. It's fine. It doesn't matter read whenever you like. Um, I did also buy some books last week, which is unusual for me, but you know, I was in town, uh, the the bookshop it did call to me, and, and I wanted to. So I picked up a finished copy of A Marvelous Light by Freya Mask. If you've watched any of my end of year videos, you'll know this was one of my favourite books of the year. I need to get this sticker off it. I'll get round to it. Um, but this is actually a signed edition from Waterstones, which I wasn't expecting to find, uh, but I did pick it up. This is a lovely MLM romance. It's just beautiful. It's really sweet. Uh, it's it's quite spicy, uh, if I remember correctly. Not like full on, but more spicy than one might anticipate. And I liked it a lot and I'm really excited for the sequel, which I think is being described as uh, lesbian knives out on a boat. I want it immediately. And I also picked up a copy of Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. This is our Space Sirens book club pick for next month, for February. And I wanted to have a copy in preparation because I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this. This is... I think there's AI. Yeah, somebody who is an AI who used to be in a starship. I'm not sure. I'm excited to find out. While we're on the subject... Oh, I can never get to anything on these shelves anymore since I turned everything sideways. Iron Widow. Uh, this is our book club pick for January. And we are having the live show on Saturday, which for you should be tomorrow, assuming I've edited this all in time. Uh, so if you want to come along, it's at 4pm British time, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'll link it. it. The live show is already up online, so I will link it. Are there any new releases I wanted to talk about this week? Oh, the only one is one that I haven't actually got to. That's a bummer. Um, this is Goliath by Tuchini Bucci, but I know that Angela is working on a review of that that will be up soon. So I'm going to hopefully watch that review and then pick up a copy for myself if I think it's going to be something that I will... I don't think enjoy is the right word, but appreciate consuming. That's kind of the plan. I'm hoping it'll be in my library at some point. Fingers crossed. I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done over the weekend. I have a friend coming, which would be very nice. I say we have the live show. Someday I need to film the next Animorphs video, so that takes up quite a bit of the day. And something else needs to happen. Oh, it's my birthday on Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. So the next time we speak, it will be my birthday for me. And it will be just be my birthday for you. There we go. Happy, happy days. What have you been up to? What have you been reading? Have you had anything that you're enjoying? I think my favourite of this stack so far has actually been uh, Library of the Unwritten. It's so good. Have you read it? Let me know down in the comments below. I would like to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It makes me feel loved and appreciated. Follow me on social media. Come hang out on Discord. All of the above. Nothing makes me feel more loved and appreciated than my patrons over on my Patreon. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing and fill me up with joy even when I have bad brain days. Huzzah. Right, that is all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's gonna be some bloopers now. Where are you from? You're from my red shelf. Oh, you even came from there. There we go. Oh no. This feels like a future Judith problem. No thank you, Google Assistant. I don't need you right now.